Hey there, how's it going? In this video, I want to explore and compare the autocomplete feature of Kilo Code Cursor and GitHub Copilot. So the autocomplete feature is one of the features provided by AI coding assistant tools like Kilo Code and Cursor. The feature provides intelligent code suggestions and completions while you write your code, and it can work with a broad range of programming languages and frameworks. Under the hood, the feature sends parts of your code to a specialized AI model that predicts what you're likely trying to write next. The more you use the feature, the more it learns your preferences. Depending on your code complexity and current progress, the autocomplete suggestions can be in different lengths. Sometimes it's only the completion of the current line, and sometimes it's a whole new block of code or just quick fixes for common code patterns. You can accept all or part of a suggestion, or you can keep typing and ignore the suggestions. You can also just reject the suggestions by pressing the escape button. The autocomplete feature is super convenient, but you still need to keep an eye on it because the AI may provide partly wrong suggestions. To give you a quick example, I've put together a small test exercise that I'll use to trigger the autocomplete features in Copilot, Cursor, and Kilo Code. I'm only comparing these three because they're the ones that I use the most. Tools like Klein and RuCode don't have autocomplete, so they can't be included in this comparison. In this little code base, I've defined a few TypeScript object types that describe different attributes for users, products, and card items. And then inside the pricing rules file, I've got some constants that set things like shipping costs and the pro tier discount for users. We can see the user tier type here for free, pro, and enterprise. In the checkout file, we have three functions here, and we are going to use autocomplete to help us write the logic. We'll start with copilot first, so click on the calculate subtotal function, press enter, and here we begin to see some suggestions, but this variable isn't what I'm looking for. Instead, let's type return, and then there's this items reduce function, which is what I want to write. So press tab here to add the suggestions, and then there is the next suggestions, which is the reduce function body, so accept that as well. And then there is the initial value suggestion for the reduce function, so tap that. And now the first function is completed. Next, Copilot went ahead and provide suggestions for the second function. Now there is a little mistake here, as the user object doesn't have the isPro property. And then Copilot already went ahead and provide a logic for calculate shipping here, uh, but let's ignore that for a moment and fix the second function first. So here, just remove the isPro property, and here's the correct suggestion, which is the tier property equals to pro. Now the second function is completed, and we can focus on the calculate shipping function. And there are some next line suggestions here, but they aren't really what I'm looking for. So instead, I will check if there are some hardware products in the card. Now we have this some function suggestion, which is correct. And then equals to hardware here, correct. And if there is no hardware, return zero. So this is correct as well. And then we have this total weight variable, uh, but that's not what I want. So let's check the other suggestion. And then we have this shipping calculation that starts with finding the total weight. So let's add that. But there is an error here as we don't have the weight kilograms property. Instead, what we have is weight kg. So back in the function, delete the property first. And then we have suggestions from VS Code here. So just select the right property. This isn't from Copilot, by the way, just the IDE IntelliSense feature. Now, since the property is optional, we need to provide a default value to it. I will add the logical or operator here and then the value zero. So when the property is undefined, just use zero here and then put the expression in brackets as follows. All right, with that, all three functions are completed. And as you can see in this quick task, the Copilot autocomplete is quite convenient. It usually shows short snippets first, as it doesn't want to assume too much. You'll see a few differences in how the feature operates in the other coding assistants. 
Next, we are going to test the autocomplete feature in Cursor. So I have the same files open here. And we're going to test completing the three functions as before. Let's start with the first function. And over here, we can see that Cursor immediately provides the return readers function in one shot. The Cursor autocomplete is much more confident than Copilot. So let's accept this and then go to the second function. Just press tab to jump to the second function. But sometimes cursor suggestions can appear out of the IDE view like this, and I can't really see it. So just tap on the opening curly bracket here, and here we can see the autocomplete, and it looks correct. So just tap on it. The second function is now completed, so let's jump to the third function. And again, here we can see the suggestions out of the viewable area, so let's click the small view option here. And now we can see the suggestions better. Uh, cursor calculates the total weight before finding the total shipping cost. It's probably correct, but let's type this manually for now. So first, a constant for has hardware, and then there is the sum function to check for hardware, so tap that, and then the if condition, but this should be if has hardware is falsy, and then just return zero instead of the shipping base cost. And now we have the total wake and shipping calculation, so press tab here. And now the function is completed, except for the wake times quantity. Uh, there is a cursor suggestion here, but I can't really see what it's trying to suggest. So I will press escape to reject, and then fix the total wake formula here, add a default value which is zero, and then put the expression in a bracket. And yeah, now all functions are completed, but again, you can see how autocomplete suggestions are correct, mostly, and in case of cursor, the suggestions can pop up in a weird place. When you're not sure, just press escape to reject the suggestions. Alright, now we're going to test the autocomplete feature of Kilo Code. So here we have the same code base, and then to activate the autocomplete feature from Kilo Code, you can go to settings, and then click the autocomplete menu here. In this menu, make sure you check all the triggers. And then down here, KiloCode also provides information about the model used for autocomplete, which is the CodeStrel model from Mistral, a lightweight model specialized in code generation. And then when you use KiloCode autocomplete, please make sure that you disable the GitHub Copilot autocomplete feature. You can go down here to Copilot icon and then disable the code completions for all files. Alright, let's start with the first function, so press enter. Okay, so we can see the Kilo code autocompletion kicks in, suggesting the reduce function. Now, it used the wrong price attribute here, so let's just change it to price sense. Onward to the second function, press enter, and before we start writing, Kilo code already provides the function body here. Now the literal string for pro tier here should be all lowercase, so let's just change that. And the second function is now completed. We can continue to the third function. And Kilo code provides a suggestion for the body here. It immediately counts the total wake, but I want to check if there is a hardware item first, so let's type that manually. And now we have partially correct suggestions, so just take what's correct and then I will remove the rest. Then type the if condition. Now you can see here there is a suggestion for a new function, but we don't need that for now, so just ignore it. And now it suggests return zero, so I'll press tap on that. Next, it suggests the total wake and shipping calculation, which is correct except for the wake property here. We need to change it to wake kg and then add an or operator and zero as default value. After that, put the expression in brackets. Okay, the third function is completed. And that concludes the test. As you can see, the autocomplete feature of Kilo Code, Cursor, and Copilot are helpful, but they can jump to the wrong conclusions and generate something that looks right at first glance, but actually isn't. In TypeScript, a lot of those mistakes get caught early because the type system will complain about undefined properties or mismatched types. But in languages with weak typing, those issues can easily slip by without you noticing. So although these tools can save a lot of time, it's still important for you to review the suggestions and make sure the code is actually working. Finally, autocomplete can sometimes get in the way when you're really in the zone, so you might want to turn it off for a bit just to stay focused. In Copilot, you can either disable suggestions completely or snooze them for a few hours. 
Just click the co-pilot icon down in the status bar and then click the snooze button or uncheck the code completions options. Meanwhile, Kilo Code is a little different. It doesn't have a snooze option, but you can turn off the pause to complete option and then trigger them only when you want by pressing command plus L or control plus L. So now when you type, Kilo Code won't show the ghost text. To get out to complete, you'll need to press command plus L and the suggestions will be applied immediately as shown here. Now, cursor tap works the same way as Copilot, so you can go over to cursor tap menu down here, and then you'll see options to disable autocomplete for just the current file type, or globally, or snooze it for a specific amount of time. This way, you won't be interrupted by autocomplete suggestions when you're in the flow. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts and questions in the comments below. I'll join the conversation and reply as often as I can. Also, if you're new to the channel, my name is Nathan and I hope you'll learn how to code and use AI tools. Make sure you subscribe if that's something you find useful. Don't forget to like this video, turn on the notification bell, all the good stuff as it really helps the channel to grow. With that being said, thanks so much for watching until the end. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in other videos. Bye bye!